Welcome to the project 3G mobile phone controlled security robots. So here we are providing the security of the sensors like smoke and the gas sensor and also we have the sensors like PIR sensor. So like this is one, one kind of metal sensor, proximity sensor we are going to use and these are controlling with mobile phone like it is a DTF decoder uh, which was interfaced to the microcontroller and between the mobile phone and going to this one our friend we are provided with the PIR sensor so it is basically used to the detect the persons and this is called a temperature sensor LM35 and this is the whole circuit uh, possible section here uh, one more thing is like we are providing the location based alerts also like bomb detection or person detection or smoke or gas detection so with the help of JSM modem and the GPS will provide you the PVT position velocity time so we get the position along with the time and also JSM modem will the message to the respective authority or respective persons the message alerts means so and so location the person identified or so and so location gas so and so location smoke or bomb so like that will get the alerts and this whole robot will be controlled with the help of the DTMF so here on the, on the mobile phone uh, which is uh, used to call to this mobile phone so if we have the 3G technology 3G mobile phones so we will get the video also in the both mobile phones so let us go with the like uh, DTMA phone. So let's on this section power supply phone. So initially it will insert the JSM model. So in the JSM model we need to insert the SIM card initially. So these are the light related values which are received from the satellite using the GPS okay I think you know the and uh, from this one mobile phone we need to call to, call to this this mobile phone so here the DTM technology works based on the ketones so it's move forward if you press for the continuously it will move continuously moving forward and come to the back for fiction and turn on the left side and uh, turn it to the right side so like this and come to the power also yep yeah so going in the forward section so it is a normal one so in order to get the SMS alerts, so we need to uh, send SMS to this mobile phone. So we'll go the so to the number with the SIM card should be uh, inserted into the which is going to be inserted into the JSM one should be valid one. So, so initial messages we should must and should send SMS of help H E L P like it should be small address only. So we need to send the message to this uh, mobile phone SIM card which was inserted in the GSM modem. So if the message was received by the GSM modem if the message was properly received so then you will get the phone number also here and here the GPS, six, uh, GPS section is there so which is uh, the one LED indication is there so if we get the satellite signal so this LED will be blinks like this so if the satellite signal is not available, so then this uh, it will not blink properly. Means it's uh, it will not blink. Stay calm. Yeah. If it's a wrong number, so 
so you'll get the mobile phone number telling from which number you got the message and also at the receiving end the microcontroller will respond to the the sending person like with a replay one so in the replay section you'll get the message like the replay message so also the number will be displayed So after this, uh, the microcontroller will respond to the person like what we need to do. For example, if you want to know the location of this robot, so then we need to uh, send a message of WRU, the small letters. So then you will get the uh, robot location exactly in, uh, in kind of like uh, in terms of latitude, latitude values. So by placing those latitude values, we can know the location of the robot. That uh, to tracking the whole robot. So this is GPS, it will give the latitude values, latitude values. So in any case, like uh, if gas leakage occurred, so we'll uh, show you that gas one with the lighter. So on LCD, you can know that it is uh, sending SMS, gas ejected, sending the SMS to the person means uh, those who send the help message initially, so to that number only it will send a message alert to that one, like that. New text message from King. Asterisk, 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 alert, asterisk, 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 gas detected at latitude. 17.432, So this is a message which was sent from the fixed star. And like the smoke also. So yeah, I play the smoke now here only, just now. So from the smoke sensor, it will detect the smoke and it will uh, respond to the corresponding person in message only. Like the same thing which was occur now. So like that fire also, we can detect the fire and the like, human detection and also metal one. So let's go with the metal section. So here we are using the metal section for the metal one. So we get that. And then the message. Yep. 17.432.172.98 Please use Google Earth to see the location. So here we have the uh, metals are going to use. New text message from King. So like the continuous thing. Smoke out there continuously. The metal detected, we also will send SMS. Metal was detected. New text message from King. Asterisk, 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 So coming to the fire, so let us continue to send an SMS. So if any fire occurred in the... Yeah, when I place a fire in front of the sensor, so the PR sensor will take my hand also, just like sending the person in the later one. So yes, you can the fire detected one. So like in the monitoring section also, so the same thing, you can control this one. So now go with the uh, same thing like DTM1 after uh, messaging to the mobile phone, it's continuously sending the replies to you. So here is like Because uh, when the mobile phone means the GSM is sending SMS to the corresponding person, it will not respond to the DTM stones. Same thing, forward, back, and left. Continuously, continuously, continuously. Thank you.